guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Blossom and Jasmine, and I wanted to show you a really quick tutorial on five out of the 10 basic supplies and materials that I use on a daily basis. Now I'm gonna start with my favorite pickup tool, which is the Crystal Katana. The Crystal Katana is made by a bling artist called Crystal Ninja, and she created a patented synthetic wax that picks up the stones effortlessly, but doesn't leave a residue on the stones. The tip on the end actually allows you to push the stone into the glue. So you would pick the stone up and then turn it around once you put it in the glue and push it into the glue. So that's my go-to product. Uh, all of the links will be listed below and you can always go to my website and you can see where to buy these items in bulk. Um, on my website or you can go click on my link in the bio and it'll bring you to my free online course which will give you all 10 items in my free workbook uh, which is included in my free how to bedazzle for beginners course my second item that i use are my magic trays now these you can find at blingasm.com you can buy these in bulk and I really like these because they flip the beads or the crystals or the stones on their back so you can pick them up easily. Now when you bedazzle like a pro, your go-to glues kind of change from uh, Gem Tag to E6000. Uh, most people use Gem Tag and E6000, but there's tons of glues that you can use. Um, I think most professionals probably play with these two, which is E6000. Uh, E6000 comes in the colors clear, black, and white. So they do have color options. It is a synthetic, oh, it's kind of hard to open right now, but it's in synthetic glue. And um, depending on the temperature that it is where you keep this glue, it'll either be like a sticky to a chunky glue. You just have to be mindful of the temperatures that you keep this glue in because it will start to cure um, in certain temperatures. Now, the A and the B glues here are your CG500, which is your two-part epoxy. Now, one item is your hardener and the other is the resin. And you have to mix these glues with even amounts and you have to start for about a minute or so and um, they dry clear both glues so those are my favorite glues you can use these on a lot of surfaces um, this is a very toxic glue so I recommend for sure wearing gloves when you do use this glue but these are amongst the strongest glues that you can use um, if you're using fabric, I suggest E6000. If you're using things that um, go from extreme temperatures like hot and cold uh, throughout the year, I would suggest uh, the two-part epoxy glue. Both of these glues I use in a syringe, and I use a three milliliter syringe. This is the case that the syringe came in, and um, I also use a long blunt tip needle. Not for no particular reason, it was just cheaper. <laughs> it was just cheap on Amazon, so that's why I purchased it. Um, I always use a sticky pad with my syringe. Um, it's excellent when glue is kind of coming out of the syringe or if you want to cut the glue string in a, a cutting motion, kind of like this. I always cut the string of the E6000. Uh, the two-part epoxy doesn't seem to uh, have strings or anything like that. So those are my go-to five basic items. If you'd like to see the rest of items that I use on a day-to-day -day basis or if you want a complete idea of um, what you should have as a beginner, then go ahead and go to www.blossomandjasmine.com and click on my courses tab where you can sign up for my free online course. Thanks for watching guys. Love you lots. If you learned something, thumbs this video up. If you want to see more great content like this, please subscribe. If you have additional questions, please leave them below in the comment section. Love you. 
lots guys bye